Alright, so I finished up the job earlier today and I have some extra time and I thought I would try a, I'm testing a new method of scanning. This is the Leica C10. It's a high definition 3D laser scanner. I've got it set up in the hotel room in the bathroom. Um, I'm wanting to see kind of what happens when the laser goes off of uh, the mirror for one and different surfaces or finding that we get some different behaviors depending on uh, finishes colors materials so I'm going to give you a quick run through of the uh, setup of the scanner and what it looks like when it's running so like I said, this is the Leica C10 scanner. Back up here, we'll bring on our nice Leica tripod. Come in here. This is the business end of the scanner. The laser comes out of the lens. And if you see down below, a laser plummet so the lens right now is showing the shining laser through a lens straight through the body of the machine through the hole and that's how you can guide it over a benchmark or a pin if you've got it the same lens the laser and the camera comes through it spins 360 degrees. So the setup is real easy. We put the tripod up in a stable location. And we mount the scanner on the tripod. And then we do an initial level using this bubble by adjusting the legs. And once we get in close to the bubble, then we'll go in through the control and we'll do a fine tune for the level using the adjusting screws in the base here. And what I typically try to do is get it within uh, less than 10, positive or minus in the L or the T and you just adjust little knobs it is very very sensitive in fact I'll show you here I know it's fuzzy but it's best I can get so you can see here I got six and seven that went a little far let's go back a little bit three and eight that's plenty fine but I'm going to show you, I'm going to back up, actually where I'm standing, next to the tripod. This thing is so sensitive that when I back up, I won't focus. I won't focus. There we go. Seven. You can see it bouncing around. And that's just for me moving my feet on the floor. But it has a compensator. And it'll compensate for the uh, issue. Now, we have it level. And I have it located where I want to scan. We go back to our main menu. I've already got a project set up and a scan. I do my standard setup. But I wish this thing would focus better. There you go. And here we can tell it our range we want to scan. We can set our resolution. So this tells me at 100 feet, I'll be getting a resolution of 0 0.05 feet at 100 foot. That's more, much more adequate, more than adequate for 
the bathroom or the hotel room. Well, now we'll start our scan. We got scan an image, which means it's going to start a scanning procedure with the laser. When it finishes, it'll then do the images. It'll follow up its 360 degree image rotation for the colorization of the dots. Now, what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to do a test here. I'm turning the lights off, so I want to see how the colorization works without the light. It won't affect the laser. So we start the scan. The unit's moving. It's real dark, I know. It does calibration. And then the light show starts. Now, like I said, I was curious to see what happens with the mirror as well as the, the lighting. Now this C10 has a visible laser. As you can see it's green. Which gives you a nice visual reference and hey it's a party. So we'll see what the results are like.